Hi, I'm Natasha with Momentum's Climbing School, and I'm excited to tell you about our lattice program and how to utilize the lattice board for your own training. What makes the lattice board unique is its systematic and uniform layout. This makes it an obvious choice for assessments and a great option for movement practice, experimenting with pace, and general climbing conditioning. Hey, how's it going? After an online pre-assessment, the lattice assessment is a series of tests both on and off the lattice board that provide a detailed physical profile of a climber. Your lattice accredited coach will guide you through carefully designed testing protocols to assess your movement efficiency, finger strength, endurance, recovery, mobility, and other physical attributes. Your results are calculated and compared to the entire Lattice database before your assessor provides you with your physical profile and suggestions for training. This information gives an athlete or coach the ability to focus on critical weaknesses and adjust their training in ways that will best help them to achieve their specific goals. Beyond being an assessment tool, the lattice board with its new fusion holes is a great option for movement practice, system training, and general climbing conditioning. <laughs> the lattice rungs used for the assessment can also be used for general conditioning. This includes circuits emphasizing both twisting and square movements. The standard lattice circuit follows the numbers on the board for handholds and allows the climber to use the same wooden rungs for feet. The lattice shape controls for height and other size differences between athletes. While performing the standard sequence, use the rungs as side poles, don't use your thumbs, use only the wooden rungs, and refrain from using the rung junctions. While climbing on the board, pay close attention to your hip position. Many climbers tend to rely heavily on one hip position based on mobility and climbing style. Steeper climbing tends to climb more efficiently with twisting motions, while crack climbing is inherently open hip. It may be advantageous to change your style for a specific goal route, especially if you are over-reliant on one position. In contrast to the standard circuit, the McClure circuit uses Gaston's and forces a more open hip position. This sequence can be used to assess and improve a climber's shoulder and lock-off strength. This can be useful for athletes struggling with shoulder stability on square movements. For more finger-intensive training, the lattice fusion holds and power-up button feet allow for a variety of training circuits focused on endurance and power endurance. The fusion holds are color-coded based on hold depth, blue, yellow, and red. Blue being the largest, and red being the smallest. The approximate grades of the circuits change based on the hold color, wall angle, and laps completed. Here at Momentum, we have created a chart to help you find the perfect circuit for you. It also includes some of the basics about the board. Finally, it all comes together in the free Crimp app. Crimped is full of great features, including self-assessments, workouts for the entire gym, a timer, and workout tracking. We hope this video taught you how to implement the lattice board into your training. To schedule a lattice assessment, contact Momentum's Climbing School.